All right, so uh, at this point, uh, we are going to be opening shelters based on the decision of the board and support of our uh, shelter owners. Uh, we have shelters uh, both with Harrison County and Harrison County Schools, and uh, a list of those is going to be posted online. Uh, we're anticipating opening six shelters and uh, with uh, teams to support uh, those shelter operations from the Red Cross and Department of Human Services. So uh, the main thing to remember with shelters is uh, they are a safe place of last resort to go. It, uh, it's not going to be a comfortable stay. We'll make people as comfortable as we can, but it, it is a safe place to get out of the wind, to get away from the water, and to be uh, in a secure location. Uh, people need to remember to bring uh, some kind of uh, blankets or bedroll with them so that they have something to, uh, to rest on. Uh, need to bring uh, any snacks or medication that they might need uh, during their time there. And uh, if you have a pet and you have nowhere else for your pet to go, uh, there will be a few locations that have pet areas designated, but you must bring food for the pet and you must bring a crate to keep them in and uh, uh, you will be asked to uh, watch your pet and walk them every so often um, so that uh, we can take care of them because there's no uh, animal staff to to take care of them we're going to need owners to watch after their pets all right and you may not want to talk about it we can we can cut it if you want to um, what do you what, what is your Special, uh, special needs shelters. You want to talk anything about that? Or you... right. Well, yeah, so uh, a lot of people do have concerns with uh, what the shelters can provide. Uh, by and large, most people uh, can go to one of our community shelters. If you feel that you have a very uh, special medical situation that requires uh, something different, uh, you can contact the EOC and we can uh, work to see if you are eligible to go to the state's special medical needs shelter. Uh, but most medical conditions can be adequately satisfied at our community shelters. Transportation is an issue for some people. Uh, if you're not able to uh, catch a ride with family or a neighbor, uh, the Coast Transit Authority is providing transportation to the shelters. Just contact CTA and they'll make arrangements for you. All right, so obviously bringing people closer together uh, during a storm is a concern during COVID. Uh, we are asking people to wear their masks, and if you don't bring masks with you, one will be provided. Uh, but masks are going to be required in the shelters just to uh, mitigate any potential uh, COVID spread that uh, could occur. Uh, we're also going to provide some distancing between people there and uh, between the distancing and the masks, uh, that should mitigate most of the effects of COVID, but uh, really the, the danger is the, the wind and the water uh, first. So at some point, uh, either late Sunday, early Monday, we do expect the, uh, the worst of Ida to be subsiding, winds should be decreasing, surge will be falling down, and uh, though we may still have some rain, uh, the, uh, the bulk of the danger will have passed. Uh, at that point, we will start working on uh, drawing down our sheltering, sheltering operations. And so uh, these are temporary emergency shelters to keep people out of the most dangerous weather conditions.